Hello friends, I will be talking about the debt part of Portal Debt Hybrid. Let's take a quick look at the macro first. GDP. As you all know, the world and the local economy is going through a severe state of shock due to pandemic. While there are some signs of stability, but still, overall state of the economy remains fragile. While the GDP went in contraction last year, but in the coming year, Indian economy is expected to be back on track. However, to grow full potential, it will take some amount of time. CPI. Overall CPI under, is under the tolerance range from the MPC point of view. The swing in CPI largely is due to the supply side issues. Hence, MPC has been patient on rates. As per the various reports in the market, we see inflation range for the year between four to five percent. Overall, this should not spoil the party as MPC remains accommodative stance to support growth for now. However, as economy grows during the year and credit demand increases, it may absorb liquidity overhang from the market. And we may see this change in stance to neutral from accommodative towards the end of FY22. To sum up, we believe yield curve is likely to move in a seesaw fashion over the year. The surplus liquidity has steepened the yield curve and the, as growth picks up, liquidity is likely to recede. This may cause short-term rates to trend upwards. However, we may not see the same trend in the long-term rates due to RBA support in form of GSAP or OMO from time to time. Hence, it may flatten the long-term end of the curve. Going forward, carry is expected to be main driver for the returns. The broad-based theme of our debt part of the strategy will be maintaining credit quality, liquidity of the portfolio, and avoid credit exposure. Largely, it's a PSU banking and guild strategy. The fund will be managed dynamically, meaning it will go across the duration range. For now, the YTM is expected to oscillate around 6.10, and the duration range will be between 3 to 7. In nutshell, while the economy will grow, the debt portion is expected to provide stable carry, and equity is expected to generate alpha for the fund. This combination will be probably the most suitable in such kind of an environment. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the equity portion of the conservative hybrid fund. Conservative hybrid funds can have an equity allocation up to a maximum of 25% of the portfolio. At Kotak, we are currently hovering around the upper end of this limit as we think that the equity market is likely to deliver better returns over the next few years. The portfolio is constructed using the bottoms up stock picking approach with an overlay of the sectoral trends. The portfolio takes medium to long term approach when picking up names and look a minimum of two to three years horizon for the stocks to make money. This helps us taking calls which have a higher return potential, but may be lacking figures in the near term. Having said that, we don't shy away from taking trading calls which have potential to give a double digit return in the near term. Growth at reasonable prices or GARP as commonly known is a predominant theme in the fund. However, we do have a few value names in the portfolio which provide disproportionate risk reward. The fund also participates selectively in few IPOs and has benefited from them in the past. The equity portion of the fund is managed as a fund with focus on bottom up stock idea generation. The portfolio has a large cap bias, but in the past, we have rapidly changed the total overall allocation depend towards mid cap and small caps, depending on the view on the market. Thank you. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.